Good afternoon, everyone. So, as you guys know, I did a video on these two precious twins that they were available for adoption as a pair. Um, and I noticed when I uploaded that video, I did not upload it in HD. Unfortunately, well, it's supposed to be a good thing, my editing program updated itself. And of course, they don't tell you how to work it once they do that. But anyways, the uh, processing part where you upload uploaded the edit video, it asks us how you want to upload it, whether it's HD, high definition HD, or whatever. I thought I did it in high defini definition HD, but now there's like this bar, which I'm not quite sure what to do with it. And I kind of uh, Googled something and it told me to be at 20% P A P G M C. I don't understand this. Anyways, I did that. Obviously, it didn't work because the picture quality was horrible and it was not HD. So I just wanted to briefly show them again, and I, this is going to be a test video. I'm hoping that this one does get uploaded in HD. Fingers crossed, guys. Just because I wanted you to see their true details. Um, I am going by daylight today. They are in front of the window, so I'm hoping you know, some of their details are showing. I, I'm still looking at the phone and I feel like it's, they're not, you're still not seeing their true skin tone. They are a little darker. I did go ahead and put their belly plates on. You know, I just kind of tucked it under there so you can see them because they weren't on there before. And also in this video, um, I have a package that I want to open. And as you can see who it's from, yay. I've been expecting a, um, some twins, I'll say that. <laughs> so they were custom for me, and I'm super excited to get those open. And also, I have a haul. Um, some of you may know, I'm not sure, I did make an announcement that I'm reborn expecting again, and I've got a little little girl on her way. She's been on her way for a while now. I think we're at day 15 or 16. Um, it's been very stressful because on my end, I have not got any updates since the 31st. So I've been relying on the artist to give me the updates. I heard as of April 4th, she made it to the U.S. Um, that's all I know. I was hoping I would have got her today, but I didn't. However, I did get a couple exciting things. I did get the torso from Sammy, which is the prototype artist who did my Azriel. So, very exciting. And she did gift me the most gorgeous little knitted outfit, which I'll try to share. I'll post those pictures at the end of this video. And I must say, oh, I was so scared. Um, I didn't open it in front of you guys because the condition of the box, it, it was pretty much open. The whole bottom of the box had a hole, and I'm scared. Um, I haven't heard from her yet. I know there's a big time difference, so I'm sure as soon as she gets the message, she'll let me know. But I did send her pictures of how the box looked looked in what was inside the box so I'm hoping that nothing fell out I believe that's all that was in there so I'm glad to say that what was in there was not damaged but I will attach those pictures to the end but while you're staring at these beautiful babies I did go ahead and modify their pacifiers there you go you guys can stare at these beautiful babies like I said their hair is just the best I've seen. It can be styled several different ways. Um, but yeah, I just wanted you to kind of stare at them. See their little feetsies. Why I open. Now really quickly, if I can bring you over here for a second. I know you're not going to see them all the way. But you can see my three, I, I guess is it Milo or Milo teddies. I've already got a start of a collection. Now, I got these from Ashley here on YouTube. And um, this little guy I actually got straight from the artist, my little piglet. Now, I know it takes a minute. I probably should have got this started. It takes a while to get into these boxes. <laughs> she does wrap a lot of stuff on them. So I've got my trusty old X-Acto and I have to start tearing into it. But I am so excited about these little guys. I seen one close to it, so she did one similar, because I know she doesn't like to do any the same, which is very good. Um, but I wanted a boy and girl, so we're getting there. As you see, after I got the bag off, we're getting there. Lots of tape. She definitely makes sure they don't... <laughs> There's another layer that they don't get lost in transit. That's what I really like about her. 
she definitely makes sure that they don't get okay so let me put the lid on my exacto knife here get that out of the way all right so here's what i see Some of the paper out all right oh goodness i cannot wait okay so here's what i see Oh, goodness. Oh, she gave me a pen, which is really cool. It has her st stuff on it. And it also has a, it's like a, um, what do you call it? A stylus pen for your phone or um, touchpad. How neat. Thank you. I appreciate that. Nice quality pen. So I'm going to show the boy first. Oh, goodness. So he has like a greenish blue tint to him. Oh goodness, look at him. So he has the big floppy ears. Oh, I love him. Oh, he's perfect. And he's got a little heart necklace hanging. Oh, he is precious. So his little joints are all working. So here's my little boy. Isn't he scrumptious, guys? So adorable. Oh, I love him. So let me set him here oh goodness let's get to the girl and then here are my coas i believe i love how she gets these packed so nicely and then here's my little girl oh goodness <laughs> so instead of the polka dots i asked her if she had hearts or stars and she did have hearts so this one has the hearts in the inside how adorable and then the little heart necklace hanging so there's my little girl how adorable hang on one second okay sorry about that i had to blow my nose it was running so there are my two little twins how adorable are they guys and these are the little coas so we have they both just say bunny on them and then that they were I guess made on the 26th of last month very cute and then they have their official stamp so there are my newest additions to this collection now I think she has created another monster as far as <laughs> what else I'm collecting so um, I cannot wait to collect more. It does take a while to get them, but I, I will say they are worth the wait. Um, and I cannot wait to get more. I do like the elephant size better. I wish they were a little bigger, but all in all, I really love them. I mean, I can tell so much detail and so much love is put into these little guys. So, um, let me see how I'm going to do this. I have a huge haul. Now that you've been staring at her for a little while, my Nevaeh. Maybe you can stare at heaven. Maybe I can get her to look this way. Hold on, guys. I don't know if that's... There you go. Because... I'm trying to get you to look at her. Because I have this huge haul I want to share with you. But what I'm going to do is get it out of the way. And then I'll show you one thing at a time. Okay. Which is what I probably should have done. Hang on, I'm being page. Sorry, guys. Okay, so as you guys know, my little prototype preemie boy Dakota really does, did not have many clothes. But I did find tons of sleepers for him at Walmart, which I was shocked. I love this little design with all the little animals on it. So it's white base with lions, elephants, tigers, monkeys, alligators, trees, and then it's got the uh, blue around the neck and the arms, and it does have the feet in it. I really thought that was cute. And then, from the same brand, I found the dinosaur one, which is very, I cannot wait to try this one. Different types of blue and green, and it's different dinosaurs all over a uh, white base on this one as well and then i found more of a nautical one it's all white with anchors and sailboats and navy blue and then there's a blue whale on it i thought this was adorable as well 
so all those are preemie. And then from Child of My Carters, if you guys remember my last haul, I got the onesies and the hats and the booties to match. And this, I think one of the hat and onesies actually matched this um, sleeper. So I thought that would um, go with that set. So that I think will fit him really nice. And then, um, hang on one second, let me grab a couple more. All right, so I did go ahead and pick up some of my girls a few things. Um, if I can get to it, forgive me. I had some of it out of order there. So um, I know it's after Easter, but I still thought this was adorable. It is a sleeper pink with striped stripe it arms white and pink stripe and the pocket is also stripe it with little bunny coming out of it and it's pink with white hearts all over it i thought it was adorable so i did get that i don't care what time of year it is bunnies are always cute and this even though it says it's a zero three look how tiny this is it could even fit her almost i figured for my four four ugh, if i can speak either the silicone or um my new baby, Azriel, since she has the full torso, I thought that would be cute on her for the summer. It'd be a nice photo shoot. Even if I had to tie it, I thought that was adorable. And then I did have this onesie brand new, but I ended up uh, making it an outfit and gifting it with my poppet, which is now with Ashley. And I paired it with a tutu and it was adorable. So I did grab another one of those. And you guys know I love owls. And this was the only one they had left. It's Child of Mine too, But I thought it was super sweet. I got this at Walmart as well. It's white with black owls all over it. And has hot pink. Uh, they have like a hot pink bow and nose. And then the buttons are hot pink. And so is the bow there. And it's even got a little bit of uh, ribbon trimmed around it. Alright. And then, which this was super sweet. I loved it. But at first when I grabbed it. I just thought it was pink and it had a floral design. I didn't notice it and then the heart, uh, well, the, where the pockets would be, it's just a heart polka dotted pink. But if you look very closely, and I didn't notice till I got home, there's unicorns in it. See the little unicorn there? Yeah, I did not notice that till I got home. I just thought it was a floral design. I had no clue that there was little unicorns all over it. But that made it even more cute. So... That just has the little pink and white polka dotted uh, little uh, diaper cover or whatever you want to call it. So I really like that one. That's also a child of my newborn. And then, I don't usually get Disney stuff, but I had to get this one. It's Hello Kitty. I mean, who doesn't like Hello Kitty? <laughs> so look how sweet it is. It's kind of like the tutu material and it says happiness in different colors. And then it has like the... What's this material? It's kind of embroidered. Really like it. And then two, two layered. And then it's got the little half pants or long shorts. I guess you call them um, stretch shorts. And they have little bows at the side and they're hot pink. And that's also a newborn. I thought that was really cute. And then this one, which they only had one newborn left. And I was so glad I got this one. And it's like a orange I don't know, between an, yeah, it's orange, but it looks pink on, on camera here. And it has a kitty in silver, like glitter, with, and has a little, um, black bow with a black, white polka dotted chest. And then the shorts are to match. How cute. And they're like ruffled shorts at the bottom, or they have a little bow. And they're just black with white polka dots. I thought this was really cute. And this is also Child of Mine Carter. And then I got one more thing for the newborn girls. And these kind of remind me of, I used to get a lot of dresses from the um, George brand, which I don't see that anymore. But now they've got um, Health Tech's Baby, which is very well done clothing, that, you know. And it, they remind me of the George dresses. So... You guys might remember I have a few dresses that have this kind of style with this little sweater over it. And I've never seen this one. I, I thought I had to add this one to my collection. So it's a blue 
polka dotted white dress with all different color floral coming up at the bottom. I thought this was super sweet and it's just got the little ruffly diaper cover. And I really like this. And this was on sale for $5, guys. I couldn't pass it up. And as you know, I got my little one on her way. And I'm happy to say I'm actually finding clothes for her, which you know how hard it is to find tiny preemie clothing. But I did get this from Walmart, and it's Child of Mine. And it's super sweet. It's hot pink with white polka dots, and it has hearts on there with floral design. Even on the bottom of the feet, it has that... I thought that was really cute. <clears throat> and then, one of my personal favorites has got the floral design, um, kind of pastel and neon colors, and a teal shirt with the butterfly. And then the onesie is hot pink and white stripe it. I thought that was really cute. So that's a three piece set from Child of Mine. And this one, you know I love. It has the owls on it, and it's pink onesie. And this is really cute. It's a purple top with white polka dots, and it's got a little white bow with floral design. And as you can see, the pants are white with a purple and peach floral design on them. Love this one. And then, last but not least, <laughs> this adorable little elephant outfit. It's an orange shirt with three little elephants. They all have a, like a little black flower in their hair, or their head, I should say. And there's little black pants, and they also have the flower in between them. And then the onesie is really cute. It's white with black flowers all over it. And then a little black bow. So that is my haul. Um, kind of a collective haul. That was on like three different um, visits to Walmart. So kind of, I guess you would call it or consider that a collective haul. But that will do it for this video. Like I said, I will post some pictures of how the box arrived to me with my Milo Teddies. I also, oh, not my Milo Teddies, the box of um, that I got from Sammy, and it's the tour, so I did cover her little private parts. Hopefully that's enough. Um, but I cannot believe the condition of that box. But I, I thank goodness that it's all in there, and I think um, she actually wrote to me. So I'm sure it's all good news. Um, and the outfit was adorable, so I will post that at the end so you guys can see what the beautiful outfit was that she gave me. And the torso, oh my goodness, the work on that. Actually, let me grab it. Oh, sorry. If I can, I'll cover her little girly parts. But look at the beauty in this belly plate. And she did cut it, which I like. But, I mean, look at the work there's even a little scratch here. I cannot wait to put this on her and try it. But really quick before I let you guys go, um, I want you to look at the twins again. Hopefully this uploads in HD this time. I don't know what the heck happened last time. Um, but I am coming next with a few more babies that I have not announced yet. Um, I'm trying to start out with all the new babies that I haven't announced for sale. And then from there, I will show babies that I have announced in the past, just have not sold them yet. So there is twin. I believe this one's twin A, right? I'm always confused with that. <laughs> and then little twin B. Let me grab her. Oh, goodness. And there's that beautiful face, and she is beautiful. And if you could see how beautiful this hair is. Yes, these little girls are beautifully done, and their little head just flops. She's very, very realistic, both of these girls. And I just could not um, bear to let them be separated, because if you can't already tell, they're definitely meant to go with each other, my little twins. So hopefully there's a mommy out there that would just love them to death as much as I do, if not more. And say hi to my new collections, or bye. And I'm going to wrap it up here. Don't forget to check the pictures out at the end. And uh, until the next video, see you later.